a little goofy, but David Wells from Point Loma High also happens to be a pretty good pitcher, and today he etched his name into baseball's record book. When the crowd at Yankee Stadium passed through these turnstiles, well, they had no idea they would witness history. You started to sense something was special in the third. Third inning, the Point Loma pointer was pointing his pitches in the right direction. He strikes out the side. Got it. And yes, something special is definitely brewing. His teammates would get four runs for him today. That was three more than Wells would need. The San Diegan trying to stay loose in the middle of all this. He's got a perfect game going into the eighth. This is the only solid ball the Twins would hit all afternoon. But Chuck Knobloch gobbles that one up. And we head to the ninth. David Wells needs just one out to record a perfect game. This is a dream come true for me. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's something that as a kid and as an adult, you, you really try to, uh, you know, just go out and, and do the best you can every, every outing. You know, not every outing is going to be, you know, peachy, but, um, you know, with tradition that goes on here, I think that's just a little added special place in my heart for, for what I did today. Congratulations to David Wells. Uh, he gets the last perfect game at Yankee Stadium was pitched by Don Larson in the 56 World Series. And guess what? Larson also went to Point Loma High. Wow, we'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. The only in the middle of a 1 for 20 slump, but this ought to get him out of it. A solo slap to right, and the Padres lead it 2 nothing. And guess who caught the ball? A Finley fan, of course. In the seventh, Tony Gwynn enters the game to a standing ovation when he pinched hit. Tony still recuperating from that sore knee, runner on third, and Tony does his job as he delivers the sacrifice fly for his 1,000th career RBI. The Padres go on to win 3-1. to one. They sweep the field and finish this homestand at 6-1. and one. One Walked in the first, came up with two men out in the third. Joey Hamilton struck him out. McGuire came up with the bases empty in the sixth and struck out again looking. Game could very well ride on this one at bat. Swing and a miss, right one. This big crowd really into the game now. What a matchup this is. Joey Hamilton pitching his strongest game of the year, facing Mark McGuire. Line drive into left center field, and that's in there for a base hit. Pet Kaisek is in to score. Ron Gant will score. No home run for McGuire, but he doubles in two runs, and the Cardinals take a two to nothing lead. During Mark McGuire, who is on a pace to break Roger Maris' single season home run record. You know, with the Padres just having three outs left, and they were down six to nothing going into that at bat, you can't blame them for standing and applauding what possibly could be major league history in the making. If he stays healthy, who knows how many home runs he's going to hit this year? He was on a pace to hit 79 coming into tonight's game. That's 26 for McGuire. The ball. Well, if he did, he never moved. <laughs> McGuire has driven in four of the eight Cardinal runs tonight. Now has 65 runs batted in. We're not even through May. I mean, those are ungodly numbers. 26 homers, 65 runs batted in. It's almost like they should have another league above this one, and, and somebody should call McGuire up because he's just, he's just so much better than anybody else right now. Called Jay Buhner Buzz Cut Night, where everybody who's bald gets in free. If you're not bald, they'll shave your head right at the ballpark. So you can look like your hero, Jay Buhner. That's you know, I've never seen Mark Grant's driver's license, but I wonder if where it says color of hair, if it says Caucasian right there. <laughs> I mean, there's no color there, huh? At first, and the 2-1 to join her. That's low, ball three. Let's pause five seconds for station identification. This is from a 3-1 hook and missed. And walks Wally Joyner, so that'll bring up Ken Caminiti. And Jack McKeon staying with his... Ken Caminiti's 100th home run as a Padre. First pitch, breaking ball, misses. Still another curveball from Brett Tomko. Well, a fastball count here, you would think. He throws another one. Well, you called. Fastball is belted down the left field line, but slicing bodies. Down goes Caminiti. But if he needed a wake-up call, that might have been it right there. The runners will be in motion. 
Caminiti yanks it foul, and he put a serious. He's thrown 120 pitches. There will be running. They are off. The pitch to Cammy is low. Ball four. The bases are loaded as Tom go through still another curveball. And Jack McKeon is going to leave this one in the hands of Tomko, even though it looks like he's running out of gas. First pitch breaking ball swung on and missed. Another curveball, and this one is hammered. Way back there. Going, going, God, goodbye. Grand slam home run for Bob. The longest active save streak in baseball. One and one to Nieves. A great location. Strike two. Another change up for a strike. And Nieves has no chance. He strikes out for the third time. And the red. Breaking ball for a strike. Trevor Hoffman experimented with a cut fastball this spring. He found that he didn't need it, but he also found that the grip he had on that cut fastball helped tighten up the slider that he had. And he's 0-2 to Watkins. Struck him out! That's the ball game. Trevor Hoffman comes in to strike out Melvin Nieves and Pat Watkins to record his 18th save and his 26th consecutive save. Greg Vaughn hit a grand slam homer to break open a 1-1 game. And Andy Ashby picks up his eighth win with some brilliant pitching as the Padres have beaten the Cincinnati Reds tonight 5-1. Hits it hard, but right at Kilby Overus, who picks it up, throws the first, got him! One out in the bottom of the night. One more to go. Well, Chris Gomez is doing it all tonight. He's got three hits. That's an actually difficult play. He rounds that ball, and then instead of backhanding it, feels it as if it was in front of him. Collects his feet. Good three and a strike makes it three and one to Jacob Cruz throw two more just like that right on the outside corner Padres trying to win their 10th consecutive game and open up a four and a half game lead over the second place Giants swing and a miss and it's three and two and the Giants are down to their last strike struck him up that's the ball game and the Padres have won 10 Roberto Ramirez coming out to shake Dan Maselli's hand. Ramirez certainly made a contribution tonight, as did Chris Gomez with three hits. Maselli in to get the final two outs in the ninth, and the Padres have beaten the Giants 7-6 to six for their 10th consecutive win as they tie for the second longest win streak in club history. Swing and a miss at a chain. Looks like he's going away here. Rip. him over. A bullet by Javier as Caminiti made the grab and took a couple of steps backward but hung on. 